SpaceX commences testing with SN8. SpaceX successfully launches Starlink V1 L12 after previous launch delays, and astronaut Suichi Noguchi is in talks with MZ about the Dear Moon mission. SpaceX continues to prepare for the SN8 flight test to 50,000 feet. Last week Wednesday, September 30th, SN8 was placed on the launch mount. Over the weekend on Sunday, October 4th, SpaceX conducted a rare fin actuation test with SN8. The fins or control surfaces are a critical component for the SN8 flight test and are instrumental in demonstrating the skydiver maneuver. The fins will ensure that Starship SN8 enters into a control fall during its initial descent phase. The increased surface area of the fins will provide sufficient drag for Starship to slow down or break in the atmosphere while also adding a degree of lift, ensuring that SN8 doesn't fall too fast or get too hot upon descent. On Sunday, October 4th, SpaceX also conducted its first pressurization test with SN8, an ambient pressure test. During this test, the tanks were filled with gaseous nitrogen. During the early morning hours of September 7th, SpaceX conducted cryogenic proof testing with SN8. After cryogenic proof testing, we should expect to see the installation of the three Raptor engines supporting the flight, as well as the nose cone equipped with the forward fins. Once the Raptor engines are installed, SpaceX will proceed to the static fire test before moving forward with the critical flight test. SN9 stacking now complete. In the event SN8 craters, SN9 and SN10 are following close behind. On Saturday, October 3rd, the tank section was mated to the thrust section. The prototype now waits to undergo its testing phase. According to Elon, SN9 testing should commence in October. SN10, SN11, and SN12. The aft dome section of SN10 has now been mated to the thrust section, and an SN10 LOX header sphere has also been spotted. In terms of SN11, on October 2nd, the SN11 header tank was spotted, and the SN11 aft dome has now been sleeved. And just like that, we're on to SN12. On September 30th, the SN12 engine skirt section was spotted. Progress on Super Heavy Construction on SpaceX's massive first Super Heavy booster continues. The Super Heavy far dome has now been sleeved. Super Heavy is expected to be around 70 meters in length and will be equipped with 28 Raptor sea level engines, according to a September 2020 statement from Elon. SpaceX's annual Starship update is currently scheduled for about three weeks from now, so mid to late October. According to Elon, the design has now coalesced, and what will be presented will actually be what flies to orbit as version 1 with almost no changes. After experiencing a bit of launch delays, SpaceX has finally launched Starlink V1 L12. On Thursday, October 1st, at T-18, an unexpected ground sensor reading triggered an automatic abort of Starlink V1 L12. And just a day later, at T-2 seconds, an unexpected pressure rise in the turbo machinery gas generator caused the abort of the GPS-3 SV4 launch. In response to the back-to-back -back launch delays, Elon noted that SpaceX will need to make a lot of improvements to meet its 2021 launch rate goals. Or more specifically, SpaceX is going to have to make a lot of improvements to complete 48 launches next year. He also noted at the time in a tweet on October 3rd that in order to address the issue, that SpaceX would conduct a broad review of launch site, propulsion, structures, avionics, range and regulatory constraints over the weekend. Elon also took a trip to Florida to review the hardware in person. With its most recent launch, SpaceX has taken another step towards resolving the problem. Lessons learned from resolving these launch delays will help SpaceX move closer towards achieving its 2021 launch goals. A new date has not been set yet for the GPS launch. Dare Moon Mission Update According to reports from Business Insider, JAXA astronaut Suichi Noguchi, who is scheduled to fly on Crew-1, has been in talks with Japanese billionaire Yusaku Mizawa, or MZ, about the Dare Moon mission. The Dare Moon project is a global humanitarian art project designed to inspire the people of Earth through the beauty of the Moon, Earth, and space in general. MZ and up to eight artists are expected to take a trip around the Moon in 2023 on SpaceX's Starship. Upon their return to Earth, the artists will convey their experiences from the flight through their artwork. 
SpaceX and MZ haven't yet confirmed any artists selected just yet. Dare Moon has already conducted interviews though with Ryan Gosling, director Damien Chazelle and Ringo Starr. Back in 2018, after unveiling the Dare Moon project, MZ noted that Elon recommended that it would be reliable if one to two astronauts were on board the mission. So in addition to the artists, we should expect to see some veteran astronauts on board for the mission. There's no confirmation just yet from MZ or SpaceX of who these astronauts will be. Whatever the case though, astronaut Suichi Noguchi seems like a great candidate. Crew-1 will be his third trip to space. He's previously flown on the space shuttle for STS-114, the return to flight of the space shuttle after the Columbia accident, and he was also a member of the Soyuz TMA-17 crew, which joined the Expedition-22 crew on the ISS. For now though, Noguchi is focused on Crew-1. In the interview with Business Insider, he noted that, I'm really looking forward to talking with him, MZ, after this mission. He continued, Who knows, maybe I have the chance to fly.